Well, it is News Extra Time on KNEB and brought to you here this morning by Intralinks Technical Solutions of Gearing and online at intralinks.net. Here is Kevin Money. Thank you very much, Steve. Good morning, everyone. Bob Nimnick is here from the ever busy Carpenters Center. And uh, we got a lot of things to talk about, including fundraisers and all the things they're doing over there. We're going to talk in this first segment about fundraisers because he's got some very interesting things that are going on in the next couple of months. The first one, everybody talks about, boy, I'd like to go to a murder mystery dinner theater type thing. Well, you're going to bring one to town, right? We are. On uh, March 10th, we're going to have the Adams uh, murder mystery group out of Denver come over and put on a Roaring Twenties Million Dollar Murder, and we're going to have that at the Weeborg Center. Yeah, so that sounds like just a ton of fun. I've been to one of those. I went down to Colorado and did it, and uh, had, we had a blast. And yeah. this, is, this is really great. You bring it to town, and it's pretty uh, affordable, right? Right, yeah, it's $50 a person, and uh, you know we're going to save you the drive to go to Denver because uh, if you go to the one... In Denver, that's what it costs, about it's yeah. 50 bucks. 50 so bucks. we're going to save you the drive. All right, good deal. 50 bucks a person. It's March 10th over at the Weeborg Center, $50 a person. And if uh, folks want to do that, they can uh, just get a hold of Bob over at the Carpenters Center. Uh, the other thing, uh, you have your uh, sixth annual uh, intergenerational dinner and uh, doing a little change up on that, right? We are. Uh, you know, we've uh, done the international dinner for five years and I, you know, it's kind of much the same menu and everything. So we decided to change it up this year. And we're actually going to have a Hawaiian luau this year. And we're going to bring in some, a Polynesian dancer group uh, yeah. uh, out of Denver again. And uh, we're going to have roast pig and we're going to have a live auction. And we're just going to do a whole bunch of fun things at uh, this. And you might even get your chance to put on a grass skirt and do a little hula for the folks. <laughs> Well, you're you're probably going to ask me to do that. You're uh, you're going to be one, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. All right, that's on April 28th, and uh, that so kind of mark that down on your calendar. The other fundraiser you're doing here for uh, 2018 is your Butter Braids fundraiser, right? Right. The Butter Braids have always been a good fundraiser for the anybody that does them in the valley because everybody likes to eat Butter Braids. They're yeah. a, they're a quality product and. Uh, We'll be doing that in the next uh, probably February March uh, window, and uh, so get those uh, three fundraisers going, and uh, you know we'll be off to a good start for 2018. That's right, and this is all basically to help you guys uh, continue to pay for the uh, big tumbling and and gymnastics building and the all all building too. Well, well, the act, the the tumbling building and stuff it pretty much is. Uh, self-supporting with the you know we got over 350 kids yeah, doing that amazing. right now and we got birthday parties there tumbling birthday parties on every weekend uh and it's, it's just crazy over there and that's but uh but the rest of the fundraisers i mean we got uh, 11 acres uh not all of it in grass but we got to keep grass up all year and for our football program softball program it's just expensive to uh you have a uh, twenty-eight thousand to run a twenty-eight thousand square foot facility up there. So we just need extra funds to try to keep our costs down to people that want to b- do the programs up there. All right, we'll talk about uh, some more of the stuff that's going on at the Carpenter Center, including some of the programs right after this. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Interlink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running. Not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk. Call Interlink's at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up, troubleshoot, and secure your wireless network. For weekly tips and information, friend Interlink's on Facebook at interlinks.net slash Facebook. Talking with Bob Nimnick today on News Extra from the Carpenters Center. We uh, went through all some of the fundraising opportunities here in the first uh, part of the year here, first half of the year that he's got going on. Make sure you get involved in some of that stuff. But we're also going to talk about some of the programs. Uh, You guys have uh, senior meals Tuesday and Thursday, right? We do senior meals up there Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, uh, This Thursday, uh, we're going to have a special program 
Rick Ettinger and Libby Stobel, uh, two of the top estate attorneys here in the Valley, are going to put on an estate planning seminar for us while the dinner's going on. We're going to have a roast beef dinner. Cost is five dollars to come up and eat the dinner and and try to get a few pointers. Uh, it's like I said, it's just general uh, information on estate planning that they're going to be doing. All right, and, and that starts at eleven thirty, and you just need to call in by today by two o'clock if you're planning on attending tomorrow. All right. Make sure you get that done. That sounds like something a uh, uh, very informational at eleven thirty tomorrow. You have pickleball on a regular basis over there. Pickleball is becoming pretty popular, right? Pretty popular. We uh, we're getting uh, you know mainly pickleball is, uh, is it's the fastest growing sport amongst seniors in the United States right now. Uh, a lot of places in Phoenix, Florida, and stuff they're converting tennis courts over to pickleball courts. It's kind of a low impact. It's a you play it in doubles. So you don't have to move a whole lot, and uh, but it is good exercise, and uh, so we have that almost every day. You can just get a schedule of of when that is. All right, Tuesday evening is one of the evenings you do it, right? Except through December. Yeah, uh, but Tuesday evenings, starting at the first year, it'll be on Tuesday evening, six to eight. Yes. Yeah. If you're working and you kind of want to do pickleball yep, after yep. after work, that's cool. Yep. That's that's something I think I'm going to try to right. take advantage of after the first of the year. All right, uh, and we also uh, talk about your exercise area and memberships. So uh, that's that's big too, right? Right. Yeah, we have a really nice uh, exercise room. We've got you know five treadmills, and we've got incumbent bikes. We've got ellipticals. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, um, you got weight. Think. You got weights. We got free weights, and uh, um, you know we just got all kinds of stuff, and it's pretty uh, low key there. There's not. Uh, it's never real crowded. You know our hours there are six to eight, six in the morning to eight at night, Monday through Friday, and eight to noon on Saturday, and uh, we're real affordable uh, uh, as far as coming in there if you just need a place to. Uh, you know, get a little bit of exercise. All right, cool. So uh, if anybody wants to get kind of a Carpenter Center membership, how much is it? Well, like, uh, for instance, a uh, senior membership is 150 bucks a year. Of senior couples, like 175 A family, uh, if you're under 62, is uh, per, a person is 200 and 285 for a, a family. And... Uh, you know, again, we think everything's very reasonable there. And uh, so you just call us there at uh, 635-8422 and, uh, or stop by the Carpenter Center and we'll get you hooked up. You can also go online at uh, carpentercenter.net and we just put in a new website. It's pretty easy to navigate through. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Great things going on at the Carpenter Center. We appreciate Bob Nimnick coming in today on New Thanks. Thank you much for having me.